Hello friends and fellow dungeon crawlers. Now, last time in order to save at the end of the night, uh, I couldn't go adventuring, I had to go to sleep because I wanted to continue on here. So I don't know if this is going to affect us day wise. I don't know how we keep track of the calendar. I don't know that any of this matters. We'll find out, but we'll try and uh, save here at the very end of the evening. Um, and I'll try to get a schedule going here. Okay, so every, I see, so we can, if we want to keep some super good stuff, we've got our chest here. That's nice. Now it's daytime, which means I guess we can we can open the doors, I guess, and throw some junk out. Um, right, and that, it remembers our pricing, which is superb. I love that. Rich jelly. What is that even? What is rich jelly? Um, let's oh, let's check out what rich jelly is. Selling and reactions. A jelly-like substance with many cured properties can be extracted from the various slimes, essential in brewing. Yeah, cool. Okay, so it's a potion-y thing. Hmm. So, uh, if with that, maybe it's... Oh. Let's try 50? I don't know. I feel like that's probably going to be high, but we don't have much of it. Alright, so let's, let's open the doors to the shop and sell a few things, I think. Then we can get adventuring. Oh, what does he think about that rich jelly? No, it's too high. Okay, let's... So we now we know. Okay, so let's let's price this maybe... Oop. Let's try 20. All right. We got a looky-loo down there. Can I buy something, kid? Come on. What are these adventurers waiting for? Oh, the, I should, I just pretend I'm looking at something else. Yeah, I'm not looking for shoplifters and nothing. He's, he's, what does he think? What does he think? What does he think? It's too expensive still. Wow. Okay. So let's go over here. Go down this rich jelly. And uh, I think we're going to put it at uh, five. Oh, he's happy with the orb. Okay. Okay, and then I think we'll close up shop at the uh, after this. Okay, so that that seems like a good buy. I don't think we're being fleeced on that one. Okay. Uh, what else? See, I again, I don't have a sense of what we can necessarily even choose to get rid of in a day. Oh, I want the whole. Yeah, I want to get rid of the whole stack. Oops. Um, oh, I see. I can open 10. Okay, that's fine. But another one of those just... I just want to clear out some inventory here. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So we'll see if we can get rid of these sticks. Yeah, no, the old lady's happy with the sticks. She'll take them. Done. Old dude's just still a looky-loo. Come on, people. Buy some stuff. Those sticks are fresh. I just uh, plucked those out of the mines or something. Yeah, no, those are dungeon sticks. That's why I gotta upsell. Those are dungeon sticks. Uh... Oh, I have unlocked an achievement of being a good merchant, which means I did some stuff. So what time of day is it now? Uh, oh, it does tell me the date. January 4th. Okay, old man, buy, buy my things. Because I want to go get uh, monster hunting here. So it's still daytime. Okay, my dudes. I think we're going to be closing up here shortly. You're taking too long. Nope. You guys are not interested? Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna casually... Yeah, no, you see, we don't have stuff they want. All right. I think we're gonna... We're gonna push them all out. All right. We're gonna close the shop for the day. So, balance. We made 200 bucks. That's fine. All right, and, uh... We're gonna head out. Let's go to the dungeons. Okay. 
get our armor and stuff. Okay, so let me remember. That's dodge roll. That's block. That's attack. Okay, let's head into the golem dungeon. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's such a cool game. Uh, la after the last uh, episode we did, I, I was just itching to play it immediately. I didn't have time to. I had to immediately export that video and get on, but Okay, so now it, the, it randomly generates. So now when we come in here, we don't fully know what we're going to be up against. Wow, okay, you take quite a bit of damage. Now, is there stuff, anything in these things? I was curious how damage worked. Yeah, ooh. Stay out of his way. Get oh. Okay, we got a little chest. Um, foundry rests. Oh, what does it say? Sorry, item must be placed to the left or right of bag. What? What does that mean? Okay, what does this say? Item must be placed to the left or right of bag. Broken sword. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all those. Oh, I see. Huh. Interesting. So there's placement. Oh, and we got this. Get, get in there. Get on in there. Is there anything going on in the crack of the wall? I like that tentacle coming out. Very, some kind of hideous monster. Oh, what do we got going on here? It's another encampment. Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Anoka, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater, and they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around one entering, a unique maze for each person, never the same labyrinth. One must ask, though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these, these are the questions. Many right now are flooding to these dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside. Just for some gold, some fame, but not high. No, it's all about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what. I'm here for the how and why. I'm here for the why is my pendant continuing to glow? I wonder. Oh, no, see, I don't know. I don't know why my pendant's doing that. Okay, oh, I see. Maybe because we've reached the end of this room? Or is it because I'm like, I gotta get out? Is it the time of day? I don't know. It's not telling me the time of day. Okay, we got a few things. We're able to kind of dodge out of the way a little bit. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, look at this. It's uh, some kind of regenerative spring. It's a little water. Let's say, why? Why do our cool tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools kept keep vanishing. Okay. Ah, not getting out this guy's way fast enough. Oh. Oh boy. I got like one more hit. Ah. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I think we I might have to chicken out here and head back. Yeah. With four health left, I think we needed to do that. Escape with pendant. Alright, go to town. Oh, that was fun. I like as we we you you feel a little bit more competent each time. It's cool. Yeah. So now I don't. This is where I don't understand the save timing. Uh, if I just pack it up and go to sleep now, or if I open up my shop again. 
I think we will open up the shop again for now. Um, okay, so we got some cool things. I will sell these two items. Uh, what else do we have? We'll sell the iron bars. And what is this stuff? Whetstone. Um, we don't have any idea. Basic stone used by blacksmiths to grind and sharpen weapons. Can never have too many of these. Okay. Is that 50? And these... Oh, my price went out. Okay, let's take these off and then put them back down. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, vine. I, I see. I haven't had a selling reaction yet. Hmm. I thought we'd sold those already. All right, let's let some fools in. I mean, let's let some merged customers in. What are, what are these looky lures doing? Oh, they don't actually want to talk or anything. Hmm. I see. So sometimes I just simply don't have the goods they're looking for. Oh, those are priced too high, are they? Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I, I thought we had... Oh, really? These are priced too high? Wow, okay. Maybe vines are not saleable. Oh, did I set those for 30? No. Huh? Oh, right, okay. That's the total. Okay, we're going to sell our two golem thingos. Nice. $825. That's good. A few more people coming in. Come in, come in. Help yourselves. Don't be shy. Step right up. Step right up. Step right up. I've got some dungeons to crawl, so if you guys could just take my goods. No, those are still too high. Wow. Okay, so these are like $1. Maybe people do not buy vine. That could be... If he's looking to buy... Oh, wow. Okay, those are too high. So the whetstones... Oh. Um, let's try 25. How's that? Oh, hey. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that was a bargain. That was, that was like too little. What are they seeing here? 25 bucks a piece? Too expensive still for the whetstones. Huh. Okay. Okay, let's, I guess we'll just try 10 bucks a piece. And uh, can we put some more? Let's grab another big stack of these. Put them down. So these were too cheap at that. So we'll try three. And uh, what else can I put down? And... Uh, Grab another pile of branches. What do we got? Oh, somebody got a deal. Oh, okay, so I, my whetstones went for a little bit too much. Too, too little, I should say. Oh, really? These are too expensive for you. Oh, because the market's changing now? Is that what's happening? At three bucks a piece, really? Okay, fine. Two. I thought we sold them for two, and somebody thought they were a deal. Oh, it's, it's tough being a merchant. It's tough being a merchant. So I gotta remember what our first, like, uh, little upgrade was. Like, how much did we need to, in order to do that first upgrade up at the, uh, the marketplace there? So I want to go check that out as soon as this old guy buys this junk. Yeah, okay, he's happy with that. Perfect. Okay, yeah, you buy it, old guy. Get on out. Okay, and we're going to close up shop. How do we do today? 650, that's not too shabby. Okay, let's go to town here. Uh, yeah, investment in the town. Okay, so 500 for a forge. Oh, we could do both of these. Hey, let's do that. Yes. Cool. So this is going to happen quite quick, actually, that we're going to get some people in town to help to do some upgrades and stuff. All right.
Okay, and, uh... The wooden hat. Is that what that said? The wooden hat? The wooden hat. Okay, let's see what, uh... What they've got to go say. What they have to say to us. Ooh, this is exciting. Alright, what do we have? Eris. Oh, a customer. My apologies, it's just this book, it's so good. Okay, yes, I'm Eris, Weaver and Potion Master. Come to the Wooden Hat when you need a potion or enchantment. What do you want to craft today? Potions. Oh, look at this, look at this. Ooh. Okay, so if I get that disgusting jelly stuff. So I need that slime, definitely, that's required. Oh, I see, so I can make a... Uh, I own two of these. I can get a health potion, HP 1. And then level 2. Oh, restores 75 health. And they're substantially more expensive. Oh, wow. Restores 200 health, and it's like 2 grand. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. There's some good stuff here. Look at this. Fireflies will guide the user to the next floor of the tech dungeon. 15 grand. Whoa, to the forest dungeon, 2,000. Reveals the desert dungeon map upon use. Whoa, reveals the forest dungeon map upon use. Huh, that is cool. Restores so we could get a sneak peek on the map. Wow, okay, I don't know that I, because we don't, yeah, we have to. I'm gonna not buy right now. Oh wait, I wanna see the other stuff. So we, that was the shop portion. Okay, uh, enchantments. What are we looking at there? Okay, so we don't we don't have anything going on there. Shorts, okay. Recipe for a thousand bucks, we can get a level twenty sword and sh uh, sword short sword short sword training from uh, plus twenty to plus twenty seven. Uh, we get that broom. We can get that broom upped from six to six. And that oh, but it gives us a plus five speed boost. I see. So that will just be an attack boost on the sword. Um, the armor, we don't have any buffs we can get because we don't have any. And that's it. Okay, that's awesome. Goodbye. Ooh, I'm liking those. That's, that's some good possibilities there. Let's go see what our dude over... Oh, where is... Where is our dude? Up here? Black Smithy? Smithy! Andre. Ah, uh, you must be Will, no? The one who requested my forge. My name is Andre, Forge Master Extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armors you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. Ooh, indeed it is, my friend. What is this? What is this? I don't know what this is called. Armor. Oh, fabric bandana. <laughs> That's nice. Gives us plus 30 health, though. Oh, but it's 4,000 bucks. That's a bandana and a half. But it's, it's forged, so it's awesome. Iron helmet. 4K. Ooh, steel helmet. I like these. So we do have actually some of the ingredients. Oh no, we do not. We require six. So the big chunks of steel I should be keeping at the moment. We should keep an eye on this. So we need about six small bars and then uh, 14 of those weird things. I don't, I don't remember what those were called. Um, okay, like a soldier short sword. So we need to take the one we have and then another pendant thing. Wow. And then like four grand. So everything's like a grand or four grand to start upgrading here. Oh, good. That's nice. Lightning rod spear. Plus 300 on the attack. It's only 512,000 gold. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I can see already. This is going to... There is a big grind we're going to be doing here on uh, economy. Wow. Cool. Now, uh, right. And how much is the the cheap box sale? Okay, that's 2000 And so the first upgrade to the shop is like two grand. Uh, the next retailer is... So we got the easy upgrades. They give us those little ones. The next one, the, the retailer is 5500 Banker 70,000, Hawkers 20,000. So we got the, the two easy ones right out of the gate. Those are like little gimmies. And we're going to have to then grind away on this guy. And it's really going to be, uh, yeah, I mean, the first upgrade being four grand. 
a grand uh, recipe. Oh, hey, we can get plus 20. Oh, plus 20 to our speed on our training short sword. That We have to do that first anyway. That's going to be a thousand bucks. That's our first upgrade is a thousand. A thousand dollars to get a big sword. That's kind of nice. A uh, thousand bucks for a spear. Okay, so the entry level on everything. We get a ranged weapon for a thousand bucks. I see. Okay. And then your first upgrade is 4K, 64K, 256K, 512K. This is a base. What, what would you call that? A base 8? Base 4? It's like uh, CPU math or something. All right. Uh, or color, was it color? No, it was, it was CPUs, wasn't it? The old CPUs? Okay, I think um, rather than go hit the dungeons again, I don't know, I'm kind of itching to go to the dungeons. Let's do the dungeons one more time, then we'll crash. How about we do that? The dungeons are actually relatively quick because we're not that competent. Okay, let's get in there. Let's get on in there. We got full health. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be... Is this... Yeah, this is... Now it's, it's still a whole new map. Oh. Yeah, I've got to figure out the... Uh... Oh, yeah, okay. I guess it's got to get better. At... I'm actually have to do blocking in this game. Okay, we got some steel goodies and whatever the other junk was. And these guys are, they're nice because they do just shoot in the one bad direction. And the lock comes off. What do we got? Okay, so broken sword. So what did it say about these? They need to be, I must be placed at the top or bottom. Top or bottom of bag. Okay. This is kind of loot rascally. Oh, 25. What did that? Was that a plus 25 or did that hurt us? I'm very curious what that actually was. Does this one have anything? I have to keep an eye on this stuff. Now, why is my necklace buzzing again? Sue. So, oh, we got another book here. I was attacked by a moving rock today. Can you imagine? A rock that moves. I did what any sensible person would do in this situation and smacked it right back. It shattered upon the ground, leaving a stone heart, a core as we've come to call it. It's one of the many unique treasures that can only be found in this dungeon. Dropped by a guard, unique only to this dungeon. I have to say, each of these dungeons have a very particular environment, a culture all of its own. Okay, there's nothing else we can do in this area here. Fine, fine. Yeah, I don't know why our pendant is uh, humming. Like, I I should have paid more attention to that. I don't recall if there's a... Like, if it's telling us we need to go home now? Have we done something? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's, uh, that was kicking our butt. How do I... Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa. Okay. Well, it doesn't kill you when you fall down, but it's probably not good. Okay, come on. This, this slime is, wow, those things are incorrigible. I'll have to figure out what is the defense on those things. So I got some kind of uh, slime shard thing here. Whatever that was. That was good. Okay. So you can kind of hide behind the chest or with those guys it looks like. Oh. These guys actually are quite uh, relatively easy. Okay, what else do we get here? Okay, and then this says, must be placed at the top or bottom of the bag. I see.
Oh, I see. I, th these aren't stackable? Hmm. Because these ones... Oh, I see. Okay. Um... Hmm. Oh, I, that's nice. I can pull up my book. So I can look at uh, what's going on. What do, what do I want to get rid of? Okay, so grab, hold, stack. Yeah, I may as well get rid of the sticks, right? Oh, uh, what does it say now? Fabric, top or bottom of the bag. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want those. <laughs> get rid of the sticks. Okay, I want to grrr, quick... Okay, we'll grab those and... Is that not the top or the bottom of the bag? There we go. Hmm. Probably doing something a little clumsily there. Okay, that's... Right, that's where the carnage came from. Okay. Oh, I see. I gotta wait for these guys to come to me, basically. Perfect. What is this stuff this dude dropped? I, I think I want it. How do I how do we get rid of some stuff? Um Where do I put it if I just want to trash it? Hmm. I don't know that okay, it's no, there's no uh, grab, hold, stack, close, quick, equipped. Okay, well, I don't want to get... Okay, I'm guessing maybe I can't? Oh. Huh. I have no idea. I have no idea what we do with that. Um... Oh, wow. Well, I want most of the other stuff I want, or I have. I would like to be able to keep that, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Uh, can I hold my stick in? No. There's nothing. I guess I can't simply get rid of stuff. That's a bit of a bummer, because I would like this, whatever this was I earned. Alright. So that's the end of that edge of the dungeon. Oop. I'm busy looking at the minimap while I'm walking. Just walk off the edge of a cliff. Oh, no big deal. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So we haven't seen this way. Oh, he look at this. A healing bath. Very cool. So I'm saying this is a pretty critical place in the why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chamber's full of precious blah blah blah. Okay. Cool. Wow. Oh. Oh boy. Oh why? What? Okay. That's an issue. No wonder it was. I was like, why is this taking so long? Had my broom equipped. Ooh. Okay. Oh, we got some... We kept our stuff. Okay, good. Can we... Oh, oh, what is this? Water lamp. Item must be placed to the left or right of bag. Okay, now I can get rid of some stuff. Um... Okay, now we'll... No, I don't want... There we go. And we can go... I guess we'll go up. Well, you know what? Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's go... Before we go up, let's go back down. Have a little bath again. Can we go back? We can. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, is that as good as I get? Okay, that's fine. Oh boy. Oh, is that? Oh, is that a? That's a drop off. I see. I thought that was like. 
Like some secretive place. No, that's just doom waiting me. Oh boy. There's a lot of crud going on here. Uh, what's this dude? What's his game? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. There is no avarice without something. Wow, okay. So that must have been a boss. <laughs> of some kind. Now, I'm gonna... S did we lose all our inventory on that? Oh, we did. Oh my gosh, we got butchered. That's alright, though. I think we learned a lesson or two. We are not ready for the uh, that dude. That's the lesson I think you have to learn. Wow. Licking our wounds. We got, uh, I think we, I don't know if we kept Empowering Crystal. We may have kept a couple of things here. I don't recall having that much slime. I think you lose a lot of the stuff you have. I'm wondering if it was just the basically your backpack gets obliterated. Do we have our, I don't even know. Well, I think we're gonna go to sleep. We'll find out next time. Oh my gosh. Well, that's, yeah, that's good to know. Those guys are as mean as they look. Next time we will take off long before. We are clearly not ready for the any kind of thing. I mean, that was one wallop and we were toast. And we lost, yeah, we, not like we were full energy, but oh boy. That was pretty cool. So that, yeah, I like that. That gives you a hint of how hard you're going to have to work to grind your way up in this game. Uh, I like the dungeons. I like the the procedural layout. I like the, the novelty. Easy to navigate around. Um, so far, very, you know, it's it's not, this isn't like a, uh, um, what's the word, some kind of hard platformer. I'm not having reflex, you know, this isn't super combat. This is just kind of a little strategic, kind of cool, and a, a lot based on the idea of us leveling up slowly over time. So we patience, I think, is really what this game requires, and we have to employ, and I think we can do that. Anyway, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.